I mean, I could, but why would I want to? I have been working so hard on this video and I really hope you guys like it. I myself love a good DIY and I also love Halloween costumes and I love making them myself because those ones at the store are so, so, so expensive. And it's fun to make your own costumes because you can do whatever you want to it, put your own twist, all those things. So I decided to do 15 different costumes for you guys. So this is not like your normal DIY costume video. This is one with a twist. So if you guys do DIYs, you know, even those can get expensive. Even though they're supposed to save money, they can get expensive. So I thought I would do this costume video by taking things that probably everybody has in their closet or things that are very, very inexpensive and then adding in a DIY project into each costume. Also, if you guys haven't already and you would like to, please be sure to subscribe down below. It's one of these corners. I would absolutely love it and I would appreciate it a billion times. So if you guys like DIY videos and you want to see more, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay guys, so we are going to start off with this gumball machine costume and it's really, really easy. For this, all you're gonna need is just a crop top or a tank top or any kind of shirt that you want and a hot glue gun and some little yarn pom-pom thingies. And all you're gonna do is just go ahead and take your glue, put it on your shirt and then put your pom-poms on top of that. It's as simple as that. You can also use um, fabric glue if you want, but I didn't have any, so I just used the glue gun and it actually worked really, really well. But you're just gonna continue doing that over and over and over until your whole shirt is covered. So after you're done with your shirt, you can go ahead and move on to the little sign that we're going to put onto our shorts or whatever you choose to wear underneath. So I'm just taking a piece of paper, and I'm using a gray one, but you can use whatever color you'd like, and a sharpie, and I'm just going to draw on like the 25 cent sign, um, a little coin slot, a dial, and then a little place where your gumball would come out. And then after that, I'm just going to tape it to my red tutu, which I chose to wear underneath, but you can wear shorts or leggings or pants or whatever you feel like. And that is the finished costume. <laughs> And for our next costume, we are going to make this adorable little strawberry. And we're going to start by taking some white felt and we're just going to cut it down into small little pieces so that we can just use this to cut our seeds. And also, if you don't want to use felt, you can just use painter's tape and make a little stencil and then use some white fabric paint. But this I thought was a little bit easier for me. So all I'm doing is just taking my felt and cutting out little teardrop shapes that we are going to later glue onto our shirt like so. After I arranged them, I just took a red t-shirt that was a few dollars and I just hot glued on every single seed on there. It really didn't take that long and it wasn't that hard and after that we can move on to the little headpiece so all you're gonna do is just take some green construction paper fold it into a cone shape and tape it and then we're gonna cut out some leaf shapes and once our leaves are all cut out we can go ahead and just glue them onto our little cone that we made and I'm just gluing them in this formation like so to look like a little top of a strawberry then go ahead and just glue it onto a headband and then throw on your costume and you are good to go for our next costume, this is by far my favorite. This is a Chipotle burrito, and it's really, really easy. All you have to do is just go ahead and take some aluminum foil and wrap it around yourself. You can make this a full-on dress. You can make this a floor-length dress if you want, but I just made mine into a skirt. You can make it into a top, and you're just gonna use the foil and wrap it around yourself, and because it's malleable, you can just kind of form it to your body, stick on a Chipotle logo, and that is it. It's super easy. Make sure to not bend over in this though because it will rip, but it's really fun and super inexpensive. Moving on, we have one of the most classic Disney characters and this is from Minnie Mouse and I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own tutu. I'm making a red one and this also works with a ton of other costumes. As you saw in the beginning, you can just use it for anything, but all you're gonna need is some ribbon and some tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my tool pieces out first and you wanna make sure your strips are twice as long as how long you actually want your tutu to be. Sounds confusing, but I promise once you see it will make sense. So I'm just 
just going to go ahead and just roll out all of my tool like so and just keep cutting. I used a mixture of glitter tool and also just kind of normal non-glitter tool. And how you're going to do this is just take a strip like so, fold it down the middle and form a loop behind your ribbon. Then go ahead and pull those two pieces through and tighten it. It's really, really easy and once you get the hang of it, it goes by so fast. And I'm just going ahead and adding all of my normal tool and then just adding some glitter tool on top of it later. It turned out so cute and you can use this for tons of costumes as I said and I absolutely love it. And now to put the costume all together, all you need is a pair of mini ears along with any kind of shirt that you want. I just wore a black tank top with my red tutu and I think it's absolutely adorable and super easy to achieve and you can seriously wear this with anything. Next up, I have a really fun costume for Olaf. If you guys love Frozen, this is perfect for you. And all you're gonna need is just a bunch of different colors of felt, along with a hot glue gun and a white dress. So, I'm just gonna start by taking a something circular. You can use a cup or, you know, anything you want. And I'm just gonna cut out two white circles, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out two black circles that are a little bit bigger than that, and then two small black circles, and these are gonna form his eyes. And then we can go ahead and just glue these all together. So you wanna glue the white on top of the bigger black circles, and then the little black circles right in the middle of the white. Once everything is glued together, go ahead and take your scissors and just trim the black on the outside. You just want a little, little bit showing outside of the white and then we can move on to his mouth. So I'm just taking a large piece of black felt and I'm just gonna cut out a big grin shape like so and then also a small white rectangle that's going to act as his teeth followed by some little black caterpillar shapes and these are going to be his eyebrows and then also just a large orange triangle to be his nose. And last but not least, I'm just gonna take a small piece of brown felt and I'm cutting out the piece that looks like little twigs in his head and it's just basically a piece that's connected at the middle and it has three little strands coming off of it. And then after that, we can just go ahead and glue everything together and assemble, basically just kinda lay it out how we want it to look like on our dress. And I'm also gonna cut out three black circles and these are going to act as his little buttons on his tummy. And all we have to do now is just go ahead and lay everything out onto our dress and then just glue it down. You can use fabric glue, as I said earlier, or you can go ahead and use some hot glue like I did. It stayed on really, really well, and it's something I already had, so it worked out perfectly. And this is our finished costume. I think it's so cute and perfect for Halloween. We don't have to sing out. This costume is by far the easiest. It is a Snapchat costume, but it kind of works for any social media that you want. All you need to do is just get whatever color that corresponds with whatever social media you're doing. So I did Snapchat, so I took a yellow dress and just taped on a Snapchat logo. You can wear a blue dress and do a blue Twitter logo or a green dress and a green Vine logo. You get what I'm saying. And for our next costume, I am so excited. This is my twist on Little Mermaid, who is my favorite Disney princess. And all you're gonna need is some brown floral wire, and you're gonna measure it to the size of your head, and then double that, and then go ahead and cut the wire, and twist the ends together, and then you're just gonna go through all the way and just form these little bubbles. And after each bubble, you're just gonna go ahead and twist the wire twice, and then form another bubble, twist it twice, form another bubble, twist it twice. You get what I'm saying. You're just gonna go all the way until you're completely out of your wire, and then twist it together to form a circle, or basically be the wreath that is going to go on your head. And once our wreath is all twisted, all we have to do is just go ahead and decorate. So I'm just going to use some fake flowers and some little seashells and just glue them onto the outsides and it really adds a little bit of something something to it and it's so cute. Go ahead and just put it on your hair when you're done, obviously. And then for the costume, I went ahead and put on a purple tank top and a green skirt so it's kind of reminiscent of Ariel and I absolutely love how it turned out and I love my twist on it. For our next costume, we are going to make a bubble bath tutu and it is so cute. All you have to do is just make a tutu like I did before, the red one that I made earlier. But this time I just made it with blue tulle and then I'm just going to glue on little cotton balls all around to act as our little bubbles for our bath. And then I'm just gluing on a little rubber ducky to add some extra color and a little bit of personality. And I also slid on a pink loofah on the end of my tutu. And I love how this turned out. I think it's so cute. I just wore it with a white tank top and you can also add on a shower cap or something like that to add even a little more to the costume. The stars are shining, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it again. Next 
Next up, I'm going to show you guys how to make your standard devil costume. And I'm going to show you guys how to make the horns that you can wear. And it's super easy. All you have to do is just take some red clay. I chose some Model Magic because this clay is extremely light. And since we're putting this on our head, we don't want it to be too heavy. So I'm just going to break it off into two little pieces. And then I'm just basically forming them into little horns. And I'm making it kind of like into a mountain shape. And then right at the top where the tip of the mountain is, I'm just kind of forming it over a little bit to the side. And after we let those dry, we can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is just taking some hot glue and gluing them onto the top of a plastic headband like so. It's really easy and this was less than $5. And then I also went ahead and made the little pitchfork with some clay that I had left over also and just put it onto a chopstick, which I found laying around in my home, hashtag Asian. And after that, I just put on a black dress and I was good to go. On to our next costume, I'm going to show you guys how to make a sparkly unicorn costume, or basically the unicorn horn, and it's so easy and so cute, and I want to wear this for Halloween this year, so I'm just starting by making another cone out of some paper, taping it in place, cutting off the excess, and then covering it in Mod Podge, or just glue, and then just covering the entire thing in sparkles and glitter and rainbow colors because I love it, and then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and add on some pipe cleaners like so glue it to a headband and that is it. I chose to wear it with this rainbow dress that I randomly have, don't ask me why I have this, along with a tutu, it's the bubble bath tutu that I flipped backwards because I was too lazy to make a new one and that is it. For our next DIY, I'm gonna show you guys how to be the cookie monster and I'm just gonna start off by taking some tan felt and cutting them into all different sizes of circles and these are gonna act as our actual cookie base. And then we can go ahead and just cut out some strips out of some dark brown felt and cut them into little squares like so. And these are gonna act as the chocolate chips on our cookies. And then I'm gonna take some glue and just put little dots all over my felt and then go ahead and put my little chocolate chips on top and let them dry. And then after that, all we have to do is just arrange them onto our shirt and glue them into place. And after all our cookies are glued on, this is the finished look. I just went ahead and wore some black shorts underneath to finish up the costume, and that's it. Up next, I have a really easy tourist costume, and I love this because it's so inexpensive. All I did was go to Michael's, and I picked up a foam visor for less than a dollar, and I just kind of had a bunch of, like, knick-knacky things laying around, so I just went ahead and glued them on there and made it really tacky and really ugly, and it was super, super cheap to make. So once I was done making my really ugly visor, we can go ahead and thread the whole costume together. All I did was put on my visor with some sunglasses and a really tacky shirt. I think a Hawaiian shirt would be best for this. I ordered one, but it didn't come in time. So I just threw on this spirit jersey I had with a fanny pack and some high socks and you are good to go. Up next, I have a Beanie Baby tutorial, and I absolutely love Beanie Babies. I think they're so cute. So all you're going to do is just start by taking two pieces of construction paper, red construction paper, in fact, and you're just going to cut out a heart and then glue the two little halves together, and you will have one beautiful and perfect heart. And then after that, I'm just taking some white paper, and I'm freehanding this. You can totally print it out and just cut it out and glue it on top if you want, but I'm just cutting out the T-Y, and then I'm going to glue it on top of our heart like so. And then when I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and take a black Sharpie and outline everything to to make everything stand out really well. Also, once my heart was done, I just went ahead and took a hole puncher and punched a hole in the side of my heart and strung in some thin black ribbon and then just tied it around in a knot and put it around my neck and I looked like a little beanie baby with my kangaroo onesie, which is my favorite thing ever. You guys know how much I love my animal onesies and I am done. Been trying to be without you, girl. And we are almost done, you guys. Next, we have a fairy princess, which I love fairies and I love princesses, so why not mesh them together? I have these random white shoes that I got at Target for like 20 bucks laying around in my house, so I decided to glitter them up a little bit and make them a little bit more special. So I just put on some Mod Podge and some glitter, and I think they're perfect. They can work for any girly kind of costume that you're doing, whether you're a princess or, you know, a, a fairy, obviously. And I just went ahead and threw on some wings with a wand and a crown, and that is it. Yeah. And last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how to make a baby rattle for your baby costume. All you're going to do is take a medium-sized styrofoam ball, 
paint it whatever color you want. I went with this really pretty purple color. And then I'm just going to jab in a chopstick or you can take like a wooden dowel or something just into the middle. And then after that I'm going to jab that into a smaller little ball like so and then paint the ball the same color. I added on some little polka dots to add some more color and glued on a little ribbon and that is it. It's a super easy baby rattle. You can go ahead and put on your onesie, tie your hair up in some pink tails and you are perfect and ready to go. I wore this costume all the time growing up because it's so easy and super last minute and perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!